Maggie Ballard of Raleigh, North Carolina, shares her experience and her heart regarding the protests and subsequent civil unrest and riots following the murder of George Floyd. I just wanted to share this today and kind of just have this conversation. Um, my heart's like really beating. Um, I live in Raleigh, North Carolina, and um, last night, uh, basically, the protest for George Floyd turned into a riot, and like, my city was basically destroyed, mm. um, and it was just like a lot to process and a lot to see and like be around, you know. Um, but yeah, I was at work today. I went and I visited the shop to make sure everything was okay because I work right downtown in the middle of it. So I was there all day. Mm-hmm. Um, and when I went there, I just saw like everything unfolding and it was just, um, it was really crazy. It was really scary. Um, but luckily we were okay. And like my boss and everyone was outside the shop, like protecting it. And no one like broke anything of ours, but all around us, it was just chaos. Mm-hmm and like looting and fires and, um, but yeah, basically I've just been like dealing with that and um, I just got home and I just, I don't know, I just wanna say like, I still love everybody Mm. and the world and I think that's what I'm just really trying to put out. but it's hard and I just hope everybody like has a sense of empathy and is able to see this like from all sides and just really like thinks about it and has these conversations and um, realizes that this is real life and it's really affecting you know so yeah yeah. and I love you guys so I just wanted to say that I love you too thank you so much for sharing is there anything you want to Anything else you want to say, you want to tell us or ask us? Um, I, I just ask honestly for everybody to just send like love and light to like everybody. You know, some people don't understand or get it. And some of these people who react are really just reacting from what they know and they don't know any better. And it's really our job to kind of be the light and to help and to try to like understand and connect. Like, this is the time, and although it's upsetting, it's, like, the time of the awakening, and it's just, like, it's needed for things to get, things get bad, but, like, we're going to rebuild and just grow stronger. Yeah. Just, like, it's, it just really hits home, and it just, like, my heart just hurts, like, you know, sending love to it all, and I'm just hoping, you know, for the best, so, yeah, and I hope everyone stays safe, you know. Yeah people really came out and supported us and were really loved and really like cared for and divinely just guided so yeah I'm I'm happy for that thank you I didn't think oh this is gonna happen here you know and so we were talking about that before I left to go check the shop and I le- I went there and I was in the middle of it. Like I saw it, like it's real life. It's really happening. And I was just like, just totally just shocked, you know, like it's just, it was just so crazy. A lot of us just downtown, cause we're just, our community is just so great. So to see everybody today, like come together and clean up the streets, people were on their hands and knees picking up glass and just like, everybody helping and boarding up windows and stuff in case it happens again tonight. Yeah, thanks so much.